here we are again with another product review and today I'm going to be reviewing the one and only Powell flight deck. Now before we get into this review I'm going to say right now that this board definitely lasted me more than a month. I'm just going to give my general review on this board because I really can't go into depth into it very well or at least I don't think I can but I'm going to try uh, my best to be clear. So the pros about this board is that, of course, it's still standing. Even though it chipped up, it still holds its shape. It's still holding its popsicle shape. And even though it's flexible, it's still like fun to ride around and stuff. I had a lot of fun, you know, street skating on this as well. The board is definitely strong, especially when I'm doing lip slides for sure. And when I do lip slides, of course, with all the other boards I've skated, as you saw, when I do lip slides, like after like, two or three of them i'll i'll crack the board instantly and then it will be like two weeks worth of skating with which other board i have like done i can't even skate it for the rest of the month but with this board i can do as many lip slides as i wanted and just to show you guys that these boards are really strong and flexible here's a clip of me trying to do a lip slide on on the rail which i didn't get but i was able to get it to the lip slide position and it really holds its flex. There was a lot of flex in that. So as you guys just saw, I was putting all my weight on the rail and it was about to bend down like this. I can't do it with my knee, but pretty much, no matter how much weight I put on my board when doing lip slides, it was holding in shape and it was very good. Now the only con I can think about for this board is that it chips up easily like all other boards. As you can see right here, this has started to chip up here and here. And it's also started to crack up here. And I forgot to mention when I was trying to do lip sides on the board, it it did the exact same way as it did when I do my lip slides on other rails. There's a split crack right here i don't know if you can guys i don't know if you guys can see but there's a crack right here and it's starting to tear apart and chip up on this end here and there's also splitting on the nose right here but overall um the board still maintain its shape and strength and now you're probably wondering why my grip tape is all scratched up like this i've been getting really technical with my skating so I've been practicing more on those kickflip back 50s and maybe dark slides because every time I tried to do the back 50 like on the ledge I would sometimes land like this by accident on the ledge and I would get into a dark slide which is why I don't intend to do but I was actually trying it one day and I was getting pretty close but not close enough I think there were just some um, I thought they were good at first when I first heard about them and figured maybe i would get one and then i saw a bunch of other reviews that were saying you know like you know this chipped up too easily flight decks are not as strong as they say they are but i definitely disagree on the strength of this board because like i said earlier i've been doing a lot of lip slides on on rails and stuff and it still maintained its strength and didn't split completely these boards are good definitely for sure considering the fact like like i said earlier it lasted me more than a month but I think it just depends on like what kind of skating that you're doing. If you're like doing like hard, like hardcore, like street skating, like doing slappy curbs and doing disasters on like concrete, like transition areas and stuff, then definitely your board will be somewhat like this. And if you're doing like dark slides as well, yeah, it will be like that. But if you're just doing like, I don't know, like regular, like average street skating, then maybe your board wouldn't be like this as much but that's just my my take on it and then after thinking for a while of getting this board or not i said you know what why not because i might not be able to get another flight board again and it's tricky to get these boards in my size and in the area where i live the nearest skate shop that sells these in in where i am is like two hours away so it's a hassle to get these kind of boards. Overall, this board did an excellent job with the skating that I've been doing. As you can see, all the board slide marks, the tail marks, and those, well, really not much 
nose and tail marks, but definitely board marks because I've been doing a lot of like board slide uh, variations the past month and a half. They hold their shape very well, regardless of all the chips and cracks that the board, the board has. They will chip eventually. Like they won't chip like that easily, but if you're doing hardcore skating, then they will chip. The rating I'm going to give for the Power Flight deck is a straight nine out of 10 for this. Regardless of all the chips and cracks that I have in it, which are very minor, thankfully, the board is still standing and complete all in one piece. Now the real question is that, will I ever get a Power Flight deck again? If it's, if I could get them like in my nearest area, that's like maybe not two hours or maybe like, you know, somewhere near, then yes, I would definitely do that. But since like the nearest uh, skate shop that sells these boards, it's like two hours away, then probably not. But again, it, it's still a good board. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a great board to skate in. I have fun skating it. And you know, I would definitely encourage you guys to try a flight board for yourselves. That concludes the video guys. I hope you found this review somewhat helpful because I don't think I really said much or anything informative about these decks. But if you did, you know, I'm glad I was helpful. And if you guys skated the flight board yourselves, put it in the comments below and tell me what you think about them. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.